what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm opening the Transformers Kingdom War for Subtron Reactor Night. Yes, I was able to pre-order this, um, individual. I'm not sure if I should say he or she. I know a couple of reviews were saying she, but it's like, not sure where that's coming from. I heard the same thing with Paleotrex, and it's like, the bony Transformers. I'm not sure what they are, but... They're bony transformers, okay? Anyways, uh, it, it, he, uh, she, whatever, transforms into this skeletal, not triceratops thing, whatever it's called. I'm just, I'm just gonna say he. It, it's just easier for me. Anyways, uh, so yes, Kingdom, Ractonite, that's what he looks like. And, uh, kind of reminds me of, uh, Slog from Age of Extinction with the torso. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get him open. Tape cutting! May proceed. There we go. Got one, and we gotta get the other side. Uh, the other side's just gonna be difficult for us. If, uh, ah, uh, okay, okay. Always cut away from yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a professional or a role model. Come on. Uh, is there tape on the other side? Oh, they started taping this side too. Uh, fantastic, you know. It was already enough as is, but you know, let's. Stick a third piece of tape for no reason. And I did cut myself that time. That's fantastic. Again, always cut away from yourself. There we go. There it is. Out of the packaging. Hopefully I don't bleed on it. Because that would suck. Seems like it only cut the skin. So, anyways, instructions. And the white paper sheet of doom. There's what Ractonite looks like. Kind of awkward, very white hips, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the card for a second here. There it is, and it is the Autobot Ark. Is this going to be a different one than just, hey, the Ark crashed many years ago? Oh, look at that, it's um, Purple Decepticon Ark this time around. So yes, it is a different card than uh, I, I think I've had previously. I don't know, I don't keep track of them. Anyways, let's go ahead and cut out the twist size thingies and uh, see if we can get him out of the packaging because I would like to have fun with the toy, you know? It's kind of why I buy them. Anyways, uh, still stuck. And, uh, da, 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 there he is. I gotta tell you, this thing feels a little awkward. And I'm not just talking about the torso or what I said about the hips, but, uh, some of the joints feel a little weird, like there's loose ones, not incredibly loose where it's gonna fall apart, but somewhat loose, uh, and there's really tight ones. It, it kind of feels like this wasn't the first run of the figure. It feels like uh, mold degradation, but this is the first time this mold has come out, so not sure how that makes sense. But I do like the head. You could also flip down for this battle mask helmet thing. I do kind of like that. There's also a peg on the back if you want to use that. Uh, he doesn't have hands, just pegs, although I guess you could use the hole in the side if you really want. Hey, focus, focus, there we go. Uh, the legs are especially weird, so how they're designed, they're always going to be on an angle. It's just weird, but, uh, you got some crazy foot tilt, I mean, just insane. Uh, I also do like the pegs, they kind of look like blasters. Waste blasters. Pew, pew, pew. Um, but yeah, it's it's just really weird, especially this arm right here. Um, this uh, oh, this joint does go further. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do like using the the head as part of the uh, part of the arm, kind of like the leg just fed its way through, and it's just weird. And I like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is Ractonite in the robot mode. Looking at the instructions, it transforms in about 16 steps, so let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Um, oh, you know what? There is one thing I forgot. Let me reattach that. And I feel like everyone's gonna forget that. The tail is behind the cardboard right here, and you have to cut that out. Ugh, I hate that. It's like a... It's like a rubbery thing, but it's just something that is so going to be easily missed. It's also in uh, completely white plastic, so it kind of feels off from everything else. I mean, he's got white plastic here, but uh, I don't know, it's just a little too bright. Plus, also, I do like the extending tail thing that you could do. It's kind of like a battle attack, like... Foo! 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 Not sure what kind of sound effect that was, but I do like the fact that he's got a tail weapon thing, you know, so. 
you can use that. Anyways, let's go ahead and properly transform him. Uh, take off the limbs. Take off the limbs. Uh, I imagine we have to... Oh, okay. Uh, and they're just saying, hey, reattach them here. They're trying to make it seem like uh, more of a transformation than parts forming, but we know what this is. Uh, I think the leg is supposed to go this way. And uh, now you can have this look. Or maybe they're just sharing, hey, you know, you ever think of this? That's a ratchet joint right there. That's kind of weird, but hey, I'm not going to complain too much about that. Anyways, so you could do that. Pegs are up. Uh, they show, hey, bring these up and then bring these down, which does make sense when you get to the overall beast mode. Uh, for some reason, that side doesn't really want to go down further than that, even though it's supposed to. There we go. Okay, I got there. It's just a little tight, but uh, I was able to get it to work. And now you got um, waist, hand, limb mode, whatever you want to call that. Pop off the sides, pop off the sides, and now that just doesn't look right. Next, take off the waist, and I imagine you're supposed to flip down the head. I'm just going to do that right now, just so that it does something. And uh, we have this chunk of a dinosaur. Feels very weird. I, I don't know why I like this so much. This could be a toy on its own. It's like something from, uh, what, what is that game? Spawn? I never played it. Anyways, so we've got this. We got a whole bunch of other chunks to work with. Uh, let's see. So this flips up like that. And then you flip that down. And then the tail will plug into the bottom here like so. Next up, what do we do? Okay, I feel like this is upside down. I feel like that's more of the spine. Uh, what do we do? We take this and we plug that right into there. Like, uh, presumably so. I uh, can't seem to line it up. Okay, there we go. And then the limbs, legs will fold in a little bit to go with the torso. And then there's a peg hole right there. And we'll plug right into there. That's a really tight joint, but uh, it's there now. Uh, let's see. What else do we do? What else do we do? Oh, of course, the head. How could we forget that? Uh, you could fold in the peg if you want, if that makes things easier. Plug that on, and there we have a rubber band that uh, is apparently there. And I need to remove that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, now that we got that off, plug that back into place. And there we have... Does this move on a joint? Feels kind of weird. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. I guess that just tabs into place. It's kind of weird. There we go. Plug that back in. It feels a little wobbly, but uh, there is Ractonite in his alt mode. And I do like how massive the head looks on this toy. Very cool looking thing. I'm not going to do it in the weapon mode right now. But uh, it does look pretty nice. I am into it, except for the uh, the code patterns on the side of the legs here. That's kind of weird. But besides that, I think this is very nice. I feel like the legs are supposed to be swapped around. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Anyways, uh, with that out of the way, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.